Well, Ars, um, you know, looking looking at this this matchup, you know, San Diego State looks like you know, they might even get more people there than, than that Stanford game we've been hearing and stuff like that. You know, just for you sure. guys, I know every game's kind of the same, but you know, how how, how exciting is this matchup for you guys? Yeah, well, I, I think you know, being on the road again, I think the environment will be really good, like we had last week, and I think we'll have fans down there, quite a few. Yeah, that's a big area for us in recruiting. We got quite a few guys, um, Southern California, so we're going to have quite a few people there. Uh, with us and uh, as far as the game goes you know you get a chance to we played San Diego State a couple years ago we don't get a chance to play them every single year um, we had a great battle last time we played and you know this is one where these are guys have won a championship the last two years that's hard to do um, we've been a part of that in the past and when you get a chance to go out there and play a team like that our guys are excited about it um, so we've been in that venue before you know a lot of these guys played uh, Quite a few of them played in the, in the Poinsettia Bowl when we were there. And, you know, this is an opportunity for us to go back down there and, and play a really good football team after playing last week and getting better, uh, coming off the bye week and doing some things that we felt good about in the BYU game. You know, you got to kind of train the guys every week the same, 1-0. and You know, every week's our Super Bowl rivalry game, whatever. But can you, is there a sense when you, that with the anticipation for this game that this is, there's a little more to this one? Well, I think there's more to it because it really it is it's that next game and where we are right now as a team uh, you come back from the bye you play against BYU you're into conference play now that's really you know the New Mexico game kind of gets thrown in there early but you're really in that non-conference schedule now you're into this conference schedule all the way through uh, I think that in itself just changes the mindset um, these are teams that you're playing against for the most part year after year or you watch every single year common opponents and you want to go out there and play well. And this is the, the team that we're playing. They won a championship you know, last year. I mean, these are the reigning champions. So this is an opportunity to go in there and, and uh, you know, see where we've grown uh, after the BYU game, where we got better at, and then go play against a really good football team that's got in all three phases, in my opinion. Um, they've executed well and they've got great players. You guys were kind of ahead of the trend, but you know, <coughs> with Peterson in Washington or even Urban Meyer talking about the late kickoffs, it's become such a hot topic. Yeah. How, how do you notice it with just with your, your players and stuff when you play late, I mean, does it take a day or two to recover? I mean, what, what, how do you yeah. notice it, the effect on, on the players? Yeah, well, I know that conversation that kind of got, you know, taken. Um, it, it's been used uh, for the last week or so or how long it was, uh, quite a bit. But, you know, we come back from this game, we're, we get back about 5 in the morning. You know, you're not going to be able to fly to San Diego. You're going to fly out of Ontario, so it's a couple-hour drive. and. Uh, you're going to get back around five. What it does, it changes your schedule the next day. So your Sunday, you know, you want to stay on a routine where you come back and lift at 2.30 in the afternoon, have a team meeting at 3.45. Um, well, your coaches still have to watch film. They still got to go back and plan and prep for that night's practice. Um, your players have to come in and be ready to work out. So uh, there's going to be some changes you know, from that standpoint, just because of the, you know, the late game and when you get back. But um, you know, we've had some games this year. We've had some earlier games. We appreciate that. Uh, that's something that you know we have worked for and have talked about. And you know, this is a game that um, you know it is what it is when you travel and you got to come back and turn around. And you know, that's part of it. Everybody knows the schedule, you know, prior uh, to playing, and uh, that's just part of it right now. Making the move from guard to center like Garrett did, how difficult is that? <clears throat> uh, the, the biggest difficulty is snapping. Really, because the guards both, uh, they work with the center so much, uh, they're making the same calls. A lot of the times, too, you know, if you're in a silent cadence, guards are making calls. If the center has his head between his legs, he's looking down. Uh, so as far as the communication process or what they're seeing, um, it's not that much different um, other than now, you know, you're snapping the ball, and when you're on the road, you're in charge of the cadence. Uh, you're doing those type of things. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot more on his plate from that standpoint. But as far as what they're doing scheme-wise, it's pretty similar. This would be for uh, Dante Dion. I saw that today. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's just, you know, that right there, that guy is exactly, um, you know, what he was when he was here. Just perseverance. You know, he's, he's a football player. He works his tail off. He's going to stick it out. He's going to do everything. He's going to show up every day. He did that in practice. He did that in games. Um, I'm not surprised. I'm very happy for him because guys like that, you see him work, you see him put in the time, you see him day after day. I know he's doing it there, get his opportunity. Um, 
you know, he's certainly earned it. There's no doubt about it. I want to ask you about Isaiah Moore, a guy you know you brought in. He, you're so really high on him, and we haven't seen too much of him or heard yeah. much about him. Where, where is he at, and um, and has he even played this year so far? No, okay. no Isaiah hasn't played. Uh, he still has a red shirt year as well. Yeah, he's got a red shirt year, so. Um, you know, he's been traveling with us. He's ready to play. He's gotten reps. Um, you know, and he's done a good job. You know, it just takes a little bit of time. You got some guys that have been here and I think are playing pretty well. Uh, it takes a little bit of time just to kind of get into the scheme of things. And then, um, you know, for him, he got a little bit behind in fall camp. You know, he was out a little bit in fall camp, got a little bit behind. And, you know, all of a sudden, you know, we're in the position that we're in right now. So he's ready to play. He's been studying. He's caught up. You know, he's done a great job out here. I think uh, you know, he's going to be a really good player for us. It's just a matter of, you know, when do we use him? And then uh, well, I want to see Perez, you know, he said he's, you know, got 10 brothers and sisters who are going to be at this game and stuff. What, is, what does he yeah. mean to you guys? Just, uh, and, you know, just his leadership, whatever you want to say. What, what does he sure. mean to this team? Well, Gabe's a guy you talk about overcoming you know, with the shoulder surgeries and, you know, in a position where you're really questioning whether you're going to play the game or not any longer. And, and more so just from the fact of having to go through, uh, you know, a surgery and then back to another one and just the recovery. And that, that's really difficult mentally. And Gabe's a guy that, you know, one, he's a very good football player, uh, extremely bright. And for him, there was no, there was some doubt probably early on. And then there was no question that he wants to be out here with his teammates. And what he's done with that, he's made a huge difference, you know, with the other injured guys. You know, he's a guy that goes over there, every guy on the bike, every guy that's that's sitting out of practice, he's probably the first one over there uh, encouraging those guys. Anybody that had a surgery, he's the first one to tell them, hey, you, you'll be able to come back from it. So he's taking it upon himself to be a leader in that area because it's football and guys get injured and, and really being the guy everybody looks to. So every single injured guy we've had, has talked about Gabe and just him being inspiring or him saying a few things here and there just to keep those guys motivated. On the road this year, are you guys Couple doing walkthroughs at the opposing stadium like the night before? Or? We haven't done that. We haven't okay. done that since I've been back here. Okay. Um, and, and the reason being, I like doing that. Sometimes just the travel, the schedule, uh, it's difficult to get there. Uh, so what we do now, we try to do everything here before we leave. So when we travel, we show up. Um, we have our meetings, we have dinner, uh, we may have a movie that night or something planned for the guys, uh, but we just don't have a chance to, to go to the stadium consistently, so we just stop doing that. Just a very few guys have probably been to this, this stadium on Saturday. Yeah, I mean, there's a few guys that have been there. They've seen it, you know, they've, um, guys from California, they've been there, uh, whether they're in the stands or have been around it, so I don't think they're that unfamiliar with it. Even, even the late home games, does that, does that affect your schedule the next day? I mean, you're talking about like when you travel back, does it? It's still late. Yeah. Yeah, it's still late. I mean, it's still, you're getting out of here at a certain time, um, and you got to come back and you try to stay on schedule the next day. So it really depends if the game goes longer or there's an adjustment in there somewhere for whatever reason. Um, we might push that Sunday back a little bit. Uh, it doesn't throw us completely off schedule, it just pushes us back some. All right, guys. That's the main thing.